Good afternoon. Oh, make sure I'm plugging properly. I think I'm okay. All right. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my daily broadcast. If you're watching this on Facebook, this is Facebook Live. If you're watching on YouTube, it was still Facebook Live. And you're watching the replay there. These are my daily broadcasts, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, first introductions. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And help strong, successful women, women find balance in love, life, and business. Try saying it more clearly without tripping over myself. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. That's better. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart as a invitation, as a provocation, <laughs> as a suggestion about how to have more love in your life, how to be more successful in relationship, um, generally towards women, but also towards men as a wake-up call, which is this one. Um, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, so, without much preamble, this is number 374 in my daily series of talks. So, that's a lot of talks under the belt. And this one was inspired by a friend of mine. She's the same one that inspired me last week with a talk. And this is going to refer to another talk as well. Um, this one, and I'm doing it a little bit earlier, by the way, than usual. Usually I do it at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but I have an appointment at 5. So, I'm doing it a little bit early today. You'll see the replay if you're watching it at 5 o'clock. Um... So today's topic, again, number 374, is game playing is for kids. Grow up for love. Okay, I think you've got the message. I'll sign off now. No, let me, <laughs> let me explain a little bit more. Um, I spoke a few days ago now. I don't know which day it was now. But I talked about how, um, to put it simply, men are simpler than women. We are more straightforward. We are more direct. We are more blunt. We are more focused. We are more laser intended, but we're more direct. That's what our strengths are. The side of that also is we don't get as complicated as women are. And I did talk about this in, um, oh yeah, I was referring to Mark Gunga's talk about the, um, the battle of two brains? No. It was something about having the, um, the, human, the female brain and the male brain. Anyway, that was another talk. This one I'm talking about, because generally speaking, this applies to men is that men have bad habits of playing games with women when they're dating, or I should say when they're attempting to get dates. And I want to make this point very clear, because this is the main reason I want to say this now, is, gentlemen, as I said before, ladies are more complicated than men. They're also a lot more intuitive and plugged in. If you think you can fool a woman with your games, the only person you're fooling is yourself. Let this sink in for a second. I think that's clear. Now, I'm not going to talk about the other way around because that's a different conversation. But in this case, when men are playing games with women, they're going to lose. Because even if it doesn't get, even if you get away with it once, maybe if you get away with it twice, it's going to bite you in the butt eventually. So, gentlemen, here's my advice to you, which is grow up. And I mean this in the sense, not necessarily of growing up chronologically, because some of you are old enough. I'm talking about growing up in here. And to grow up, in fact, so you can actually blossom and own here, because for most men, they're scared of embracing this. They're scared of sharing this. And I mean your heart, your love, your compassion, your caring. I don't mean physically. I mean emotionally and energetically. And I will tell you now, gentlemen who are watching this, if you want to have a lady fall in love with you, be willing to show your true nature. Be willing to show your heart, your compassion, your caring, your truth, and your weaknesses. Now, she may fall in love with you. Then again, she might run screaming for the hills, in which case she wasn't the right one for you anyway. Thank you, Sylvia. See, see right there, I got feedback. So true. So I'm, I'm glad I'm on point. <laughs> Being a guy, I have to discover this myself. But I spoke to a friend of mine earlier today, and I'm going to actually tell her afterwards that I did this inspired by her, her uh, conversation because she was telling me about this guy who um, basically has been angling to go out with her and it keeps playing this line like it's going to work and this game with her and she's like I mean she's she's a tough kid she's, I mean she's gone through a lot but she's also a very smart savvy and a sexy woman in her 30s this guy's a bit older than that so you'd think because he has more life experience he'd have figured this out already apparently not and she basically said to me I don't think she said it to him like do you not realize how obvious your overtures are, how overt your behavior is, and how stupid it is. Well, I'm using that word. I think she did. And this is the point, that 
you know, there's a, there's a quote I've used a lot, in, I haven't used it for a while on broadcast, but it's a lot in my conversations, that when all else fails, try honesty. And gentlemen, if you're watching this, being honest with a woman may be the surest way to get to her heart. And maybe you can get into bed. I'm not going to say that's the guaranteed way. I'm not, not teaching you lines on how to get a woman to bed. But the reality is, the more honest you are, one, there's less bullshit to hide. Two, you don't have to make up lies and, and pretend things are not true. And third, she'll know you who you really are. Now, if you're afraid of that, you may want to get some work, do some work on yourself to reveal a better, better version of yourself. But the reality is that she's going to see through your pretense. She's going to see through your games. And what do you say, Sylvia? You said something else. Yes, they got to be themselves and truthful. They will win in that case. Thank you. Yeah, that, my point. And this is the dance that so many people go through of thinking they've got to put on these airs. And this, this actually applies to both sides of the conversation, by the way. So women will listen up as well as men. This applies to both sides of the conversation where we have this desire to impress somebody else to put on a persona, a pretense, uh, an appearance of something we're not, to hopefully get them to fall in love with us. And ladies, you're just as guilty of this as men are. Now, ladies, you have a certain, well, we both, both genders do, have a certain um, preparation for presentation that we put on when we're going on dates to look a certain way, to present a certain way. You don't show up as a, as a schlub. <clears throat> you don't show up as a schlub, is a nice Yiddish term for you. But you, you do put some effort into it. But when you put on too much pretense, so you're putting effort into looking presentable and make yourself look good and be attractive so you can be um, noticeable by your date, is one thing. Putting in a whole pretense and act a um, persona that's not you, that's going to be guaranteed at some point to fail. Because even if you do get them in bed or in love in a relationship, at some point in time, that, that veneer will crack and they'll see who you really are. And I'm saying they because I mean this for both sides of the conversation. Men and women have been victim of this and have been perpetrators of this. So as, a, as a, an overarching um, suggestion, invitation, rec- recommendation, growing up as in becoming more mature, more conscious, more aware, more willing to be vulnerable is much better than playing games. Playing games for a lot of people is, is because they're scared of being revealed as they really are. They're actually scared of being seen truthfully. Yet the funny thing is, that's who they want to see anyway. You know? So, so you thought, thank you for acknowledging my comment. You're welcome. So helpful to listen to your advice from a man's point of view. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Sylvia. This is, this is my work. I mean, this is number 374 of a long series of daily Facebook Lives. So there's plenty of content out there, and I love sharing this because I, my intention is to help people have healthier lives in relationship, in love, in their own, in, own integrity and authenticity. So you're very welcome. So getting back on track. <clears throat> so again, my recommendation, invitation, um, strong suggestion is the more organic, natural, real, and truthful you can be in your connection with somebody, especially if you're interested in them romantically, the more, I would say, the more likelihood you will have of getting results. Success or rejection are results, by the way. <laughs> so showing yourself n- more neutrally or more truthfully to the other person, you tell them what, what you feel, and they will either say, wonderful, let's talk, let's talk further, or no, thank you. You know where you stand. But when you're running these games of pretense, you're playing a dance that may or may not include them, and they're sitting back going, I don't think that's real. And so you lose out anyway. So wouldn't it be better to raise the odds of getting what you want, getting, saving a lot of time by getting clear about whether it doesn't work or does work, and frankly, having less effort to put into making up this pretense and this idea of what you're not. Game playing is a lot of work. And the payoff isn't as good as being truthful and honest. I think this makes sense. Um, this, again, was inspired by a friend's conversa- a friend, conversation with a friend of mine. It really is something so simple. Yet so many people still play those games. Now, if you're in L.A., <laughs> it may be harder. And probably New York as well. It may I'm actually in L.A. more than New York. It may be more challenging to give up those gains because everything's about presentation here. Um, thank you, Sylvia. Anything organic is good. Yes, it is. Absolutely. But at the same time, you may say something that's going to offend somebody, in which case, be willing to acknowledge that. See, the other part of this is being willing to make mistakes, or she's be willing to not be afraid of making mistakes. It's even better way of putting it. It's part of this 
um, maturity beyond game playing. So that's another part of the conversation. Um, oh yes, let's speak at LA for a second. So living in LA, and I've lived in LA for over 30 years, so I've seen this place a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that's put invest in this presentation. I mean, this is, you know, Hollywood land, as it were. This is the way a lot of the movies were made. Not as much anymore, but a lot of movies have been made. So the focus on things looking a certain way that may not be the reality is common in this environment. And so that translates, or I should say, that transfers also into a lot of people's social life and dating life and presentation in life. There are people driving around in cars they can't afford, in clothes that they, they either can also can't afford, wearing colognes that are overpowering, or perfumes, because both are women, um, with false, well, so much, there's so much false I can talk about, with both implants, surgery, wigs, apparel, other stuff to make yourself look like you're not. And it's challenging for people to get through that. People have been trained over the years and many generations now, it seems like, that you can't be honest and real. And I disagree with that. That's not the truth. It's tempting to think you should play the game to fit into the society. But maybe I'm being unique. Maybe I'm willing to step up and say, no, don't do that. Be honest, be real, be transparent. Game playing is a kid's game. I should say playing like that is a kid's game. And it doesn't serve you, it doesn't serve anybody else. And I'm just aware of people I know who were teaching a lot of these dating techniques to men how to get women in bed that were games. And it worked to a degree, but it was very mechanical. It's actually a lot of it was NLP based, which is one reason I have a challenge with NLP because they get used that way sometimes. That's for another topic. Um, oops, just make sure it stays plugged in. I almost yanked my cable out then. Um, and at the same time, it's a karmic price to pay for doing it. Um, this manipulative technique, which is game playing, can be hurtful, can be damaging. And it can be debilitating to your ego, for both the perpetrator and for the recipient. So those sort of games may have worked in the past, but the amount of karma you're accumulating, I wouldn't recommend it. I firmly recommend that it's, it's healthier for your long-term um, survival <laughs> and life, to be honest, to be truthful. As Sylvia said below, but anything, anything good, organic is good. Being organic, meaning for me, being honest, being vulnerable, being truthful, being willing to speak your truth is a healthier approach, a healthier approach than putting on a mask. Because when you put on a mask, you're pretending to be something you're not. And if you want to fall in love, do you want to live like that? I don't think so. I think that covers it. Yeah, that covers my, that was That's pretty much it. I was looking to see if I was going to have all the pieces together for this. But this is really the point. Is if you want to have a healthy relationship, now, if you want to date like a kid, then fine. <laughs> if that's the case, you probably won't watch my videos. But if you want something more fulfilling, more authentic, more robust, and more growth-oriented, as I spoke about yesterday, I talked about what relationship could be like. If you want one of those, being honest is one of the ways to get there. So watch yesterday's broadcast, which was 373, about what relationship could be. And then come back to this one, because this talks about what may be in the way of you getting there. Hmm, they fit together. How nice. As I said, this is at number 374 in ongoing series of talks. This is Messages to the Masculine, number 374. This time next month, it'll be number 400. So these are going to keep going. I haven't run out of content yet. Um, these daily talks you can watch um, anytime you want. They're on my business page on Facebook. Um, that page is Barry Selby, also my name, but it's one with a blue shirt, and that's if you go to facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby to author. If you reveal your mask and your real face, that might be more damaging. If you reveal your mask and your real face, that might be more damaging. What do you mean by that, Selby? I'm not sure what I... Because that sounds like a two-sided piece. You know, I keep repeating, keep summarizing what I was going to say about my when you find my work. Um... Again, on my YouTube, on my Facebook page, also that goes on YouTube. If you're watching it there, it was already you've already found me. But on um, so be transparent as much as you can. Exactly, so yes. So be more transparent. Yes. So show, revealing your real face is a good thing. That's what I think you're saying. 
Again, so these are on YouTube as well, although you won't see the comments there, which is why I'm repeating them. On my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. They're also on my website, and on my website, you're going to find three things I want to recommend. Well, it's a bunch of stuff, but three things I recommend. One is the playlist for these is on my video blog page. My website, by the way, is barryselby.com, my name. The second thing you find on there is a um, com- 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 my gift to you, a complimentary discovery session, my, what I call a complimentary clarity conversation. Help you get clear on where you are, where you want to go, and what you want to have in love and relationships. That is barryselby.com forward slash chat. Oh, it's actually the let's, let's chat button in the menu. You can check click on there and sign up. The third thing is my book, because that might help you as well. My book is called 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. has a plethora of insights and concepts and principles to help you have a healthy relationship with yourself and somebody else. That you can get on my website, again, under uh, barryselby.com forward slash book or barryselby.com and click on the, I think it's the best-selling book, because it is a bestseller, on my website. That, I think, summarizes my information. That's where you can find me. You can find more information. I um, hope this makes some sense. If you have any questions, comments about this, please put them below in the comments, or else I'll respond to them in the comments after I sign off. Your homework. Yes, I give homework. If you're watching my broadcast, you know I do this. Um, you meant that revealing a true face later in your relationship could be damaging if you were fake up front. Get it? Now I understand. Thank you, Sylvia. Perfect. Now I understand. Your point. Your homework. You have to do some self-examination. You're welcome, Sylvia. Thank you as well for all your comments. And by the way, if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. This, this invitation I forget to put out sometimes. So if you know anybody should watch this, either because they're dealing with this or because they haven't willing to face the truth, share it with them. Um, homework. And I give homework every day. So, sorry. <laughs> this is actually something simple, really. Is at the end of the day, the end of tonight or another day, look back at your day and look at where you may not have been as honest as you could be. Look at where you maybe made something up, you lied, you didn't tell the truth, you hid from somebody, whatever that was that wasn't the truth. And then let's look at whether you're willing to change that or not. What was it you're doing to protect yourself? And this is a little bit deeper than you normally get. Because the idea about this is I want, to, I want you to look at your own life and see where you've been holding back from the truth and resisting what's possible. And by so doing that, you're actually wounding yourself at the same time. So look into that and see what it is. And if you have any questions about this, Send me a message over social media or, again, go to my website and sign up for the, the uh, discovery session. And I can, I can help you through that. I'm just thinking of anything else. That homework may be a bit sticky, so you don't have to do this, but if I recommend if you want to go deep, do the homework. It might help you get some clarity on where you want to, where you want to move to and have something different in your life. I think that is about it. Thank you for being with me, as always. I'll be back in tomorrow. Usually time is 5 p.m. Pacific time, but today I said I have to finish early. I've got a, a meeting to go to. So this was an hour early. Hope you found some value from this, and uh, I will speak to you again soon. Take care of yourself. Actually, I'll be again tomorrow. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.